This is a light kit test to show how the Heritage window actually blocks out sun in the summertime. This heat lamp here represents the sun. If you were to hold your hand up here, it would be extremely hot as it moves forward. This is like it's coming up against your glass. So in a lot of cases, folks just have old single pane or double pane glass that's in place. So if we actually take these two devices, this is a solar meter. The sun makes it run. Basically when this is in place, it'll spin around because the heat is causing the fan to rotate faster and faster. This is a solar meter. It registers how many BTUs of heat are coming through a device per hour. So if I just hold it out here, we're at roughly close to 300 BTUs of heat that's coming through this. So if I actually put this piece of glass here and hold it up with how many BTUs of heat are coming through, we still show around 250 to 300 BTUs of heat coming through this glass. If we move to standard low E, which in our case is low E squared, you'll see that this is going to move tremendously slower and the solar meter will now register at roughly 50 BTUs of heat per hour coming through and that will be moving at a much slower clip than what it was with the original glass that was in. Last but not least we have our triple pane glass Again, we'll stop the meter, set it there, and if we hold this up here, we'll see that we're actually less than 25 BTUs per hour, where before we're at 50. So upgrading to a triple pane glass will slow this down even more so to the naked eye. It'll look about the same as the previous, but on the solar meter, you'll see that we've dropped about 25 BTUs of heat per hour coming through there. So the idea is with our windows in the summertime, the heat radiating through isn't going to come in as quickly. Therefore, the central air system that you have in your house is not taxed as much and is not having to crank as much AC because you're not losing the cold air through the heat gain in through the window.